will be on the side for the little caveman, Jeremy Scott. Street Stocks coming to you, presented by AJ's Bar and Grill. To the start box, the green flag is out. As they muscle their way through one and two, it's Justin Beecher with the race lead. Yellow lights are on. Up in, ladies and gentlemen, our restarts are up to the pole sitter. But initial start is always on your flagman. So we'll try this one again. Justin Beecher and Clark Brooks in car number 21. Green flag flies, we're underway. Watch out, Ronnie Carmen at the back end of the field, a little sideways. Everyone keeps it straight, and we're down the back straight away. Top three in a line. Justin Beecher, Clark Brooks, and now Robbie Streeter rides, car number 55. Battle is on for the loose spot. Kenny Duralt on the inside of the Grouch. LeClaire high, wide, and handsome in car number 45. Sideways to both of them, off at turn four. Good action at the back end of the field. All behind the 33. Oh, Rocket man, Ronnie Carmen eats the outside wall. Side by side now, the 17 machine of Kenny DeRault up the raceway. Couple of 33 machines rolling by. Chuck Daney now, Big Bill Clements on the move. How about the veterans of the class? Kenny Scott, Oscar LeClaire, Chuck Daney, and Big Bill Clement. Justin Beecher, the Cabana boy, out of Bill Rick of Massachusetts, leads him down the back straightaway. Has been running an open wheel round down and modified for the most part of this opening season. Dragged out the old street stock, and he's going to lead him down in the one on round number eight. Clark Brooks having a nice run up there in the second spot. The Spindle Associates, number 21. The Jinx Market in Delhi, 55, Canton, New Hampshire's Robbie Streeter runs third. Keep an eye for the fifth spot now. Here comes Sergeant Chuck Daney. To the bottom side on Oscar LeClaire. Two veterans side by side for the fifth spot. Daney low on LeClaire. LeClaire's going to put the bumper to him. And problems arise for the 21 machine of Clark Brooks. Justin Beecher gonna lead Robbie Streeter, Kenny Scott, Chuck Daney, Oscar LeClaire, and the rest of a full field of street stocks who will restart green on lap 10. To the box they come, green flag is on Will Wilson. Robbie Streeter with a good jump on the outside. Contact's made. He's up the hill. Justin Beecher going to grab the number one spot and hold it down in car number 57. Chuck Daney up to the third spot. Now the battle is on for fourth. Kenny Scott, Bill Clement Sr. and the 45 machine of Oscar LeClaire. How about Clement Sr. on the outside? The 43 R is on the move to the full spot now. Contact behind him. The 72 is Scott. The 45 LeClaire. LeClaire the inside. Kenny Scott avoids him up the hill and Oscar LeClaire will take the fifth spot away. Justin Beecher, Robbie Streeter, Chuck Daney.
Halfway home at the stripe, this time by for the Cabana boy, Justin Beecher in car number 57. Single file, pretty well spread out around the high bank quarter mile of Hudson International now. Keep an eye on the Precise Industries, number 33, W in the three spot as he makes his way to the bat or the 55 of Rurabi Streeter. We lose the rugged man, Ronnie Carman. The 18 machine will retire. Justin Beecher on rails with 10 laps to go this time by. Double high fives gonna fly from Gage Osborne and 10 laps remain to Justin Beecher. Second, third, and fourth start to close in with single digits remain. Robbie Streeter, Chuck Daney, and Big Bill Clement trying to sneak up there in the top three. Five laps will remain this time, and Justin Beecher looks to be the second face in victory lane for the Street Star Division of 2022. Robbie Street, good run in the second spot, and the 33 machine of charge in Chuck Daney. Danny's there to make the run on second, but Robbie Streeter's got a good line in car number 55. Will he have time to make the move? Big Bill Clemens sitting right there in the 33R. Kenny Scott Jr. in the 72 off the pace. Two laps remaining for the AJ's Bar and Grill Street Stock Main. Kenny Scott stuck on the bottom side of the raceway. Letting the leaders go by with the white flag out. It's Justin Beecher all alone. For the final time in his own area code, the NASCAR Advance Auto Parts Weekly Series checkered waves, it's Justin Beecher nailing it down. Robbie Streeter second, third, Chuck Daney, Big Bill Clement, and Oscar LeClaire will round out the top five as we will head trackside. Down here in AJ's Bar and Grill Street Stock Victory Lane. How about a round of applause for this guy? Charging Chuck Daney coming home third. I'll Chuck fourth last week, third this week. I'm sure it won't be long before we see you up there. This thing's bad fast once again. I hope so, yeah. I'd like to thank the track, though, for getting this in today. They did a great job, especially with the rain. We had adults there, but they hung in there. Get us done. Thanks. Anybody else you got to thank? Uh, Precise Industries and um, Gagnon Sandblasting. Now, thank, thank my crew, Brian Gagnon and, uh, and Andrew. Thank you. Second place here tonight, Robbie Streeter in car number 55. <laughs>
Well, Robbie, thing was bad fast on rails. I don't think anybody had anything for Justin up there, but this thing was stuck on the bottom side of the raceway and real good. Yeah, I mean, with having to, two drivers and we're, we're sharing the car right now until we get our new ones replaced, you know, it's, it's been tough. We've been working hard late nights and, and switching it over two totally different racetracks and two totally different driving styles. It's been tough, but we're getting it. Uh, we've, I knew I didn't have anything for Justin. I had to try on the outside there at the restart, and, and he ran me clean. And, you know, I, I, I love all the guys here, man. They, they all race pretty good. And, you know, when Justin gave me the thumbs up, I knew we were going for it. So we went for it, and we touched a little bit, but I, I love racing with these guys. And who you got, uh, sponsors you got to thank down here tonight, uh, Bob? Well, Fastlane Graphics and Joe Tatro, the guy that drives the car on Friday nights, uh, he's there every night. Keith. Mancer, he's at my house, I mean, at the shop every single night, worked in wrenching. Obviously, School Street Salon, um, The Hills, uh, 360 race cars, Lightning chassis. Um, I mean, there's a handful. I mean, I, we haven't even lettered the car up because it's going for two different drivers. So uh, that everybody, if I forgot you, yeah, it wasn't uh, on purpose. Marsh Brothers Deli definitely jumped on board this year and seems like we're going to be uh, having two cars sponsored by them. Each, we all thought you were retired, but uh, you show up here. You only missed one race. Come out here on the second one, and uh, thing was bad fast. Nobody was catching you here today on rails. Yeah, I can't complain. Car was good all day. Uh, she's my old girl. Love her. She'll go all day long, so it was a good run. Uh, I got to thank everyone that helps out, all DBR boys, my father, big time for everything he does, uh, Firecracker, awesome JJ, Joe for giving me a lucky $5 bill back, so that's good, and uh, all of the women in my life, so thank you guys for coming.